Hey Sagittarius, so today we're going to go ahead and do your new love reading. So this is going to be who is the next new partner, new love coming into your life? Uh, what do you need to know about this person, the situation? How will you recognize them and know them? So this one did win the poll, so that's what we're going to do this week. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We have the Hermit, the Nine of Wands, and the Page of Swords. I'm hearing right away something about someone wants to make something right. Um, seeing like a yin and yang symbol. So there could be somebody here around you who wants to balance the scales or to make something right with you. I feel like this is something to do with the Page of Swords. I'm, I'm either getting this is something that has already happened or will happen. I'm hearing the word fleeting, some type of fleeting conversation or fleeting moment of um, communication. It's something which again, either already happened or could be coming in. And I'm hearing a crow or a raven in the background. So there's definitely some message that is trying to come in or that you've already received. Um, and it could be about a person you know, around you, could be romantic or otherwise. The Four of Swords is at the bottom. I'm also hearing a message that it's important that you are protecting your energy. There may be a few different messages coming in here. It feels like there's a lot of energy. You might need to make sure that you're protecting your space, protecting your energy um, at this time. There's the Four of Swords again. So tell me what this Page of Swords is about, Spirit. What is this Page of Swords? What is this Page of Swords? Yeah, it's almost giving me the impression of like with the Hermit here um, and the Nine of Wands and how it's kind of like a secluded or lonesome energy. It's almost like if you were to take a loudspeaker and announce something on a loudspeaker, but you're coming out of like the dark. Um, and again, I don't know, this could be you or it could be somebody else, but it feels and here's the Temperance card. So that's the energy of making something right or making some form of amends here. Um, and with the Ace of Cups here, I'm also seeing something about a computer or typing. So again, this could be a message being sent over communication through computer or text message or phone. Um, and I'm actually being shown, I'm hearing lips are sealed and I'm being shown somebody taking off the seal of their lips. So again, whatever this message is, it's for somebody who needs to know that if you have been either keeping your lips sealed with something or if you know that somebody around you maybe has been keeping their lips sealed, it's like a feeling of coming out of the dark, almost like with this nine of wands here. It's like this feels like a cave in the background or some type of like um, almost like auditorium. I don't know what that's coming through, but it's a feeling of like I'm ready to announce it or I'm ready to come out and share my story or I'm ready to come out and share this news, which can be different for different people. It could be that, again, this is you and you're ready to come out of the dark here and share something with the world or you're ready to, um, I'm hearing icing on the cake. You're ready to kind of receive your blessing or to receive the icing on the cake with something. Or this is somebody here who is around you and they are, you know, wanting to reveal themselves or to make some type of conversation or move or something of the sort here. Um, so the Ace of Cups. So tell me more about this then. What is this coming out of the dark communication? What is this here? Ace of Wands. Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups.
Yeah, it feels like there's been a lot of um, kind of like an ocean that's been very turbulent. With the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands, this might have been a very emotional time. It almost gives me the impression of like when the tides are calming down or when the ocean calms down. Like if a hurricane goes through the ocean or, you know, is is um, making all these turbulent waves and then it kind of passes by. With the Ten of Wands here and the Seven of Cups, that's what I feel. So this situation feels like it's for somebody who needs to know that if there's been kind of a feeling of you yourself being in this sort of echo or this lone auditorium kind of, or you've been struggling in some certain ways, feeling kind of emotional, feeling that you've been pulled underneath, it feels like you are ready to either receive some news, you know, that's going to pull you away from that or pull you out of that. Um, or this is like a situation specifically for you, especially if it's in relation to maybe a person or a relationship for some of you where that person has caused that kind of undercurrent for you. And I'm hearing the word please, please something, please. So what is this new Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands? And then we'll go into some different cards to confirm a little bit more specifics. But anything else, right? I'm also seeing a black bear. That could be a totem for somebody. A black bear. Or a brown bear. I don't know the meaning of, of a bear. I mean, it kind of you know, the way that bears hibernate and with the reference I keep getting of like being in a cave of some sort, there's maybe a feeling of coming out of a cave um, like a bear would do. So what is this Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands? Judgment. And here's Temperance again at the bottom. I'm almost getting the impression that you're going to find some news or find something that you've been searching for. So, for example, again, this could be different for a lot of people, but it feels, feels like, <laughs> excuse me, it feels like you're going to find something that you weren't able to put together previously. And with the reference of kind of the um, waves and the undercurrent here, the Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, it gives me that impression again of being rescued almost from like a space that you didn't think that you would be rescued from or from a place that you didn't think that you, you were capable of coming out of. Um, so this could be in the form of, again, news being sent to you. It could be in the form of even angelic information, spirit guide messages to you, something which kind of can lift you from the dark in some certain way. And so let me go ahead and get a specific for what this is exactly, but temperance being here again at the bottom. I'm also being shown magnets that have repelled at some point, but now they're coming together. So again, I don't know, this could be that there's something coming together which had previously repelled. And I'm being told the circle, the circle of not the circle of life, but the circle of karma or the circle of some kind of completion. Um, I know we just had a full moon and I keep being drawn to that moon there in the corner, but there's something about like a, a feeling of completion of a cycle with the judgment. So this could be like a, a year long cycle, 10 year cycle. It could be whatever is relevant for you, but there's a feeling of that kind of collapsing that cycle um, or it could be something shorter term. But it feels kind of so, let me see. Can you tell me the specifics then, please, Spirit, about what this is about? I'm also being shown someone lacing up their shoe, shoelace, which I've seen a few times, which usually Spirit's referring to preparing for something, like if you're preparing for a race, um, and in this case, preparing for, for something. Um, I'm also hearing Jupiter. So yeah, it could be, I don't, I'm not sure if there's something astrologically going on with Jupiter. I don't know. But if there is something going on with Jupiter, uh, it almost feels like some type of Jupiter return or some with the reference of the judgment and Jupiter for me. I mean, I don't, that's not connected to Jupiter, but I'm just seeing it that way of like a reemergence of something or kind of a feeling of something which can save you from 
bad luck or save you from something that had been not going well before. I'm seeing a kangaroo here too. So what are the specifics spirit? Can you show us any more specifics about what it is that this message is about, please? Any more specifics about it? I'm seeing a microphone again. So we have within the next few months, you will find that you are being pushed out of your comfort zone by external forces in order to induce and promote growth. So since I keep seeing a microphone, that could just be specific for somebody. If you're a speaker, public speaker, if you are um, doing something in the public eye, or if you have news to share, a story to share, a story to write, um, those are just going to be very specific, but those could be confirmations. You know, if you want to write a book or if you want to um, pursue some talent of yours, it feels like this um, judgment is referring to this within the next few months, again, being pushed out of your comfort zone. So that's a lot of what this is referring to with the lacing up the shoes too. This is for somebody who definitely needs to know that if you've been going through a time where, you know, with the, it makes sense now with the hermit, the cave, the nine of wands, um, it feels like if you've been in a bit of a cave or if you've been in a state of kind of, um, I'm hearing that it's very much been necessary for you to purify. So if you have been in a bit of a cave, so to speak, or if you've been needing to spend more time alone, or again, it could be a short amount of time, like a few weeks or so, or this even for some could be a long time, like years where you felt like you've had to be in this um, hermit mode for a while it feels like that's you coming out of that and it almost feels like this nine of wands too you're carrying the wisdom with you and that's why i'm getting for some it's like you have something to share or a story to share you have this torch to share with the world um but it feels like it's something where balance will be restored in many ways but just know that if it feels kind of difficult with the four of swords here it might feel like you are being pushed out of this bed. You know, you're being pushed out of your comfort zone with these like monster hands here. It could be a little bit scary. And now I'm hearing Saturn. So yeah, there's something with Saturn, Jupiter. I don't know, but... It's like spirit show me that, um, you know, that feeling if you've been sick, maybe somebody has been sick for someone watching and you, you know, you maybe you're in bed for a week or two and you have a really bad flu um, and then you get up and you finally heal and then you kind of go out into the world again and you kind of feel shaky or you feel the world is looks different because you've been cooped up in bed and you feel like your body is not fully recovered. It's that kind of feeling. So for some, you could have been sick with this four of swords. Um, but if not sick, it's just kind of a feeling where the world is waiting for you to kind of um, accept you and you might feel a little bit shaky. You might feel a little bit like the wind can um, the wind can push you down, but it feels like it's happening for a reason to help you to grow and to elevate and to move forward. So we also have your creative talents will soon ignite as you will be surrounded by an energy of inspiration. So yeah, this is definitely for somebody with Ace of, of Wands here too, where it feels like it's something that you, with the Judgment card, it might be something that you're coming back to, like some type of talent or skill that you're coming back to, which you didn't have for a while. But it can also just be that you're finding... What is this judgment? Tell me one more card for judgment. What is judgment here for? What is judgment here for a spirit? Because I feel like there's a another message with judgment. Breakthrough, yes. Quantum leap, epiphany, milestone, advancements. Yeah, it's basically a judgment is referring to the waves are calming down. I'm seeing again with the storm here, the waves, um, the storm has passed. It's not the eye of the storm, but it's the whole storm has passed. And so judgment in this case can refer to 
just certain things that you, it could be very different for a lot of you. It could be something personal that you've come to accept about yourself. It could be, um, I keep getting a lot of chatter in the mind. So some of you here might have had a struggle with anxiety or you've had a lot of restless thoughts in your mind that have been kind of um, keeps talking to you in a negative sense. And then that's if that's the case, it feels like judgment can be something that you need to sort of calm the mind. You know, I keep getting references of sick, you know, like medicine that can calm the mind or medicine that can um, soothe you in some certain way. So this judgment is really referring to this breakthrough and also ascension. For those of you who are um, feeling the energy of this ascension, this is also going together with the judgment too, where I'm hearing final touches. It's almost like if you're an artist and you put the final touch on a painting, on a portrait, um, and it hasn't been complete before, and maybe you left it incomplete for a while because you didn't know which what color to kind of put on it, or you didn't know what the last touch was supposed to be, but then you realize it, like, that's what I need to complete that portrait. That's what I need to complete that painting. It's that kind of feeling where you go back to something or you kind of find, you, it's almost like, how to put it, you kind of find, again, what you needed to close something or you find what you needed to finish it. And that could be very specific. It could be something where you find a missing piece of your life or you find the job that you've wanted or you find, um, you know, it could be v very small too. Maybe you find some, I don't know, app that helps you to do your, your work better or just something small or something large, which it, it kind of helps you to break through whatever you had not been able to sort of break through um, previously. So... And I'm hearing this is going to take place from now into the next few months. So there's that magnet. We have contrast, polarity, resistance. And at the bottom, we do have here alive as well, boldness. Yeah, so I am getting some of you also might feel an increased level of energy around you uh, in terms of maybe like life force energy or you may need to you know, exercise more or to find a way to have an outlet to those things that you're feeling. So is there anything else about this page of swords? Because I kind of feel I wasn't quite sure what the page of swords is here. For some, it is something that it's work related. Um, but let me see, what does spirit want to say about the page of swords? Because I had gotten a message in the beginning, but let me see, what is this page of swords for the viewers? So again, confirming a shift in energy will soon grant you the opportunity to be able to pursue goals and dreams that you have been putting off. I'm getting something once again about like if you let's say you have like a, a home that has not had electricity for a while and then you restore the electricity and it kind of comes to life. It's like that kind of feeling where something is being put, you're putting the the zest back into something or you're putting the, you're reviving something, redoing something or like renovating something and that could be in like a literal way or this is just a metaphor for kind of reviving the lost part of you where the dreams and goals that you've been wanting can be pursued further. Um, Page of Swords. So we have, you will begin to share more intimate moments with a person of interest that will create a closeness and bond that you have not experienced with anyone else before. Okay, and at the bottom, there will be a reconciliation from someone from your past. So I was kind of getting that in the beginning and then it kind of branched into a different... So let me see, what is this here? You will soon begin to share more intimate moments... I'm being shown two people kayaking together. So that could be something that you'll do quite literally, but it can also be like being in tandem with each other, something to do with like the flow of the movement between you and a person that's 
I'm hearing the word shock. It might shock you. Knight of Pentacles here. Something might shock you about this person. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? I'm also being shown a jellyfish. So shock, a jellyfish. What is this? More intimate moments. We have a summer love, a hot and heavy fling, knowing it won't last. Someone only wants casual, short but sweet, meeting on a summer trip, catching feelings or moving on. Hmm. But the, what I'm actually being shown is that this could be something, again, this might have already happened, which is why it says summer love too. Maybe you've already had like an encounter. I'm being shown a fortune cookie and it's almost like the fortune cookie. You don't know what's in it. It's like if you crack the fortune cookie open, like um, with this connection, it might say this is just sort of a way that spirit's showing it. Not like it, this would actually be the case, but it might actually say something in the fortune cookie like, you know, you and this person are destined to be together forever. Or it might say something like this is over, you know, something to where you don't know what you're going to get here. Um, and maybe you've been wondering about this connection um, at the bottom we do have an eerie love so you can feel in the bones an unexplainable bond signs are everywhere running but can't hide exchanging psychic energy so I'm getting a lot of like I keep getting sea creatures like jellyfish and um, other sea creatures octopus so for me, that can also be a reference of a very ancient connection because it feels like, you know, those creatures are uh, like the whale to very ancient creatures and hold a lot of um, spiritual wisdom. So there's something about that coming up where this could be a connection like that, where you have somebody in mind here, as I'm talking about it, that you have a very um, psychic connection with. They're bringing you back to the microphone again. So I don't know with the Page of Swords here, I'm not sure if they're referring to the microphone being like telepathic communication. Can you tell me more about this spirit, this intimate moments with the person and the bond? What about it? Can you tell me more? So is it a fling? We have bad habits. So... An unhealthy relationship, chasing thrills, addicted to bad boys, girls, someone is unstable, a controlling lover, endless highs and lows. Let me confirm how this connects to, is it the same person then? So what does this mean? Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. I am getting somebody, this could actually be two different people here, a Five of Cups, because at the bottom I'm noticing we have Distant Admirer too. There is somebody who's trying to scoot closer to you, but I kind of feel with the Two of Swords, you might be scooting away from them. Again, this could be somebody who you do have a very intimate connection with or um, psychic connection with. And... It feels like I'm hearing how far will this go or how far will you let this go? So kind of with the reference of the fortune cookie too, I do feel like there's somebody here and this would only be for you if you know, you know, that you have this connection currently. It's been causing you a lot of sadness or it has caused you a lot of sadness, this person, this connection. And hmm. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, I'm just getting that there's a person coming up here, which I feel like there's a few different people or there's a few different connections, but there's one person specifically coming up that you felt like you had to do everything for them or you felt like you had to almost like kind of be there for them, uh, but not in a way of like just being supportive. It felt like you were carrying the weight of the relationship or you were carrying everything about kind of this connection or this person. And... 
I feel like with the Eight of Cups, there's a sense of freedom here opening for you where you have other opportunities coming in or there's like a sense of, um, yeah, definitely like more opportunities that are available for you. This might have been a short fling or somebody who you knew for a short amount of time. Um, Page of Pentacles. I hear the name Deborah. So Page of Pentacles then. The Hanged Man. Yeah, this is really interesting because I keep getting a sense that there's somebody connected to you here. I don't know if I'm picking up on three people. I want to confirm one more time about this, what Spirit's saying about this connection because I don't know if it's the same connection here. I don't really think it is. I think there's more than one. But then there's one over here, which could be the same as this one or it could be another one that you feel an eerie sense of, again, connection with them. Like I'm getting that you feel their energy around you all the time. And it feels like something where um, Spirit's definitely wanting to say that something about topping off your, your energy or topping off your light. Where it's important that you remain grounded in yourself here and that you know your own light and you keep kind of your light about you, especially if you do have that type of very psychic connection. And... It feels like that connection over here, this very psychic connection, right now feels on the fence. So it feels like it's something where it's hanging in limbo. Um, it's a connection where that's the fortune cookie connection. So this actually could be a separate connection over here, and this could be the same connection as this one. Um, but I do want to double check it. But it feels like it's something where this is the fortune cookie connection, where you have a, uh, an eerie sense of like, I feel always connected to this person, but I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if we're ever going to be connected again. I don't know if we're ever going to make this work. And it feels like I'm hearing that it's going to the railroad, like the train will come in when you don't expect it to. So this connection over here, I think that what Spirit's saying is that this connection is going to remain kind of in limbo, but the train will come in when you when you don't expect it, meaning that the more that you can kind of hold the highest frequency of your own light right now is actually going to accelerate the uh, time frame as to when this connection could come in. And it's something where there's various actually timelines I'm picking up on. So it's, it's like I'm getting three different timelines specifically. One is like a past connection that you had a very short term fling with or someone who's not good for you or a cycle that you've been in. And then you have the psychic connection over here. For some, it could be the same person, but just take it how it's going to resonate. And then you also have a new timeline opening where the train is coming to like the true love train kind of is coming in. And I'm getting for one group of you, it is this person, this eerie love, who when the time is right and the train comes in, is going to catch you off guard. But it's going to happen as you keep holding your light about you more and more, you know, because um, this cycle of being off with this person is happening for a reason. And then for others of you, it's just that there's a third timeline where this is a new connection, the train coming in, but you have this psychic connection always anyway. What about the psychic connection here? The universe. So God, source, prayer, support, intelligence. And metamorphosis, transformation, change, growth. Yeah, that, this connection is very much, again, between two worlds. It's very much in a transitionary process here. Head versus heart, split. And Knight of Swords.
where is this connection heading spirit this eerie love connection where is it heading ton of pentacles And tell me about that card here. Again, you'll be sharing more intimate moments. High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. So this feels like something that you already feel intuitively. There's an owl here coming up strongly too in this message where it's something that you feel intuitively. I'm, I'm hearing preparing or cleansing and preparing for this to come in. So again, I don't know if it's the same person. I'm not sure who this is, but there's somebody who I feel you intuitively have a feeling about or you intuitively know that love is coming here. And it feels like something where, again, you've been kind of, it's almost like a, a feeling of cleaning cleaning out the closet or cleaning cleaning your life somehow to allow this person to enter but with the high priestess it's very much of something i'm hearing detroit really strongly when i saw that so i don't know detroit could mean something but it's something where um yeah it's it's i don't know it's like a feeling where there's a lot of gold here around this like there's a feeling of again this page of pentacles something to where your light is attracting this. Your kind of light about you is attracting this this intimate um, connection, a bond that you've never experienced before with anybody anybody else. I'm being shown a map as well. This could be somebody who is either at a distance from you or somebody who uh, kind of on the metaphorical map of the world or the metaphorical map of the universe. Um, you're kind of pinning them down. Like if you were to take the universe uh and take like a pin and say that this is you over here kind of on from a higher self level if that makes sense and they're pinning you and you're pinning them and the two of you are somehow aligning or will align it's definitely something which is in the works here there's a change in the works with the universe and um i feel like this is i keep being shown like pillars of light vibration energy light so a lot of this is connected to your light that you're having currently about you and you're kind of attracting it in with your light this ascension is bringing it in um but as i said that i'm hearing spirits say don't stuff this in the closet again or don't push it under the rug so if you've had anything that you may have had to address when it comes to um sadness or pain or an ex-partner or something where you have to sort of um, like I'm hearing sucks the light out of you I keep getting light here in this reading so you have somebody if not multiple people in the past or currently depending who have been sucking the light out of you and I feel like it's all about your vibration here and as you maintain a high vibration this is when you will kind of begin to summon in or to attract this bond that you've never experienced before into your life. So I think we'll do an extended here and I think I'm going to look and see a little bit more about because it feels a little bit like there's multiple things coming up here. Um, I'm definitely going to look at this connection in particular and what this bond is and who it is and try to get a feeling for who that person is if it's somebody new or what that could be and then we will kind of go into this eerie bond and see if it is the same person or if it's something separate and um, then we'll get a few messages as well for this breakthrough for you and what exactly it will entail and then kind of just intuitively go from there well let me get one more card for this here for 
Yeah, there's somebody, see, definitely for someone very specific, someone's at a distance. Here's the map I just saw. But if it doesn't resonate as a physical distance, I can see it being that universe energy or universal map kind of thing. And I'm hearing this is definitely somebody who shares, this is how you'll know who they are currently or when they come in or you've been manifesting your perfect partner maybe for some of you I'm getting. This person will share a lot of similar traits as you. They might even be into the same things as you. They might be um, in the same field of work as you, especially if you're a spiritual person. They might do the same thing as you. They also could just share something where the two of you, I'm getting language here too. You either speak the same language, which you won't expect because you come from different, like, you know, maybe you have a parent that's from their country or just something like that, but that will only be for like one person, I feel. Um, if it's not that, it's just the language of love kind of that you speak, you know, the language that you'll share together will be very similar in vibration. And I'm just getting a sense of like your higher self wants to pull you into this direction really badly. It's like a feeling where um, seeing temptation around you. There could be certain th um, people or vibrations that can tempt you to lower back down to where you were before. And your higher self is wanting you to say like, look at me, listen to me. I'm trying to pull you to this connection. I'm trying to pull you to a bond that you really want in your heart, but you're staying over here. So someone needs to hear that if that's you. Um, and it feels like that's kind of, it's kind of a co combination of energy with this metamorphosis here and the creative talents too in the page of pentacles where i'm hearing not just one door but many i'm also hearing a scorpion scorpio so it could be scorpio season maybe for some or you could be a scorpio yes we have white magic so ceremonies and rituals calling a lover to you moon cycles setting your intentions Okay, so we will look more in the extended, but let me just close this off. I feel like Spirit wants me to get one last of these to see if there's any other topic or anything else to add to this reading, Spirit, before we go here. Now is the time to think outside of the box and change your approach when it comes to an endeavor that you've been focused on. At the bottom, we do have you might be re uh, moving or relocating. So again, for somebody very specific, you could be moving to where somebody who's going to be your future partner will live, um, whether you know them or not. Again, that's how you'll know who they are because you are very similar. I feel like the two of you do have a lot in common or they're somebody who is a kind of high vibrational connection for you. And I'm being shown... I'm being shown a crowd of people. Like if you're walking in a crowd of people, kind of like the, yeah, the three of cups here, sort of like, I guess you can say sort of the matrix in a way, like, like a feeling where everyone is walking the same way. Everyone does the same things every day. Everyone follows the same routines. Um, but I'm being shown that you have been slipping into the crowd, but they want you to make yourself known, you know, make yourself somebody who is outside of that so that you don't feel like this character here, feeling that you're underneath everyone, see how there's celebrations, like that could be you. So either this is saying that you should socialize more or kind of get out more, or this could be something where you just need to utilize your full unique talents in, the, in a way that is going to make you seen and heard and think outside the box, even if it feels kind of crazy to do, or, or even if it feels like people don't accept that or understand what you're doing, you don't want to just be another person in the crowd kind of thing is what I'm hearing for whoever that's for. Um, I'm being shown a box of crayons as well. So I don't know if maybe, again, someone's an artist or you, maybe this is like childhood or when you, like, what was it that you loved to do when you were a child? Um, getting back to the inner child. Okay, so last message here. Spirit, last message. Go with the flow. 
let things happen and there's the wave and there's the fish so yeah there's a connection to the marine life here for some um, pisces cancer it's also like again like an ancient soul some of you watching this if you found this you are a very old soul um, and the moon also something with the, the moon that we just had i definitely think for some you are psychics healers or you may be stepping into your purpose in a way that you're you're realizing what you're here to do um and so yeah i'm being shown like a circle that you've been moving in maybe even from childhood for just for some like an inner child thing and you're you're taking the you know with the what is that the i can't think of it but the the moving um door i can't think of it but when you're you need to exit to get off you know if you keep going in the circle and you never actually go outside you're never going to get to where you want to go you know it's like your car is sitting right there but you keep going in the circle and that door um, and never getting out of it and i'm hearing too that this might be a time that is very unexpected and also very um very kind of unfamiliar or you just sort of have to go with your intuition right now even if it feels like it doesn't make total sense um, they want you to flow with your intuition and just like trust that whatever it is that you're being called to do is the right thing. But it might be very, because some of you are either unfamiliar with this type of lifestyle because maybe you've always followed logic before, or if it's not that, then you just have been um, kind of undergoing a change which will make you more free flowing than you have felt for a long time. And it might feel a little bit scary to just trust your intuition and trust your gut without having any like logic to back it up um, especially if it's something that you've been wanting to follow in terms of like a creative talent or even moving somewhere for some if you've been thinking that you want to move to this certain town i did hear detroit so that could be something that you're either moving out of detroit or to detroit this is for one person but um follow your intuition and finally at the bottom we have think big for your future so yeah so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the bowl and then we will go over to the extended and definitely see what else we can pick up on about this partner or this intimate bond um, the eerie bond what's going on with maybe somebody's feelings about you currently and see who we can pick up on and then a little bit more about what this future could be for you as well so I'm going to stir these up these do not have to resonate if they don't then it's okay um, and it might be a little bit loud so you may want to turn down the volume and as i was shuffling these i heard one more message for somebody again this is specific but if you've been struggling with like a health issue or you've been having some habit that you know you should quit it can be a variety of different things um your guys are just wanting to say with that four of swords that if you don't stop doing that you know it could get worse or if you know that you're not happy where you are it's not going to just get better by itself um, or if you know you know for example that you need to try to take more walks every day because you're health is is whatever it could be it's just a feeling of like you need to follow what that is telling you um, because it's time to make those changes in your lifestyle Okay, so we have Sue, we have Nicolina, Chloe, Bernadette, Bernadette, we have Brianna, Sarah Kate, Irene. Shane, Hassan, Annika, Alton, Jacqueline, Kylie, Allison, 
Sheila, Karina, Christina, Vani, Kate, Joe, Sissy, Sonia, Lee, or Leah, Emilia, Diana, Molly, Lorraine, we have Jupiter, Ursula, Kate, so I think we have Kate, 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 so definitely if your name's Kate, there's a message here for you, I feel. We also have Chime or Chem, and then that's it for names, and then we also have Spain, Vancouver, Philippines, Connecticut, Russia, Cuba. So there's definitely a lot of international from where I am here in the US because a lot of times we get a lot of um, states in the United States and cities. But so this could be something with the moving. If some of you have been thinking about moving internationally from wherever you are, that again could be a confirmation or there could be something about travel. And then we have Cancer rising, Taurus rising, Pisces moon. So yeah, there's the Pisces and Cancer. Definitely, if you have those prominently, this could be more for you, but it doesn't have to be limited to that. And then we have life path number six, an architect, a server. So this could be occupations. So I hope that this could resonate with whoever this is for. Definitely, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and comment if you found this helpful or if any of these details found you i'd love to hear and i will go over to the extended now if you'd like to join and sending you all lots of love and take care